the world of data is moving at lightning speed. And to stay ahead of the curve, you've got to know which tools actually matter. So that's what we're doing today, counting down the top 10 data technologies you need to have on your radar for 2025. Let's get right into it. You know, the data landscape is always shifting under our feet. To really succeed and grow your career, staying current isn't just a nice to have, it is absolutely essential. So I'll ask you directly, are your skills ready for what's coming in 2025? Let's find out. All right, kicking off our countdown at number 10, we've got LLM technologies and vector databases. Look, the AI revolution isn't just a buzzword, it's creating entirely new categories of tools. We're talking about the real cutting edge here, stuff that enables semantic search and seriously powerful AI-driven analytics. So what does that mean in practice? Well, we're talking about building actual AI applications with tools like Langchain, getting your hands dirty with vector data for things like similarity search, and implementing patterns like retrieval augmented generation. You'll hear that called RAG. Nailing these skills, man, it just unlocks a ton of opportunities in this booming AI space. Coming in at number nine is Apache Airflow. As our data systems get more and more complex, just making sure everything runs when it's supposed to, well, it's a huge challenge. That whole process is called orchestration. And when it comes to orchestration, Airflow is pretty much the undisputed king. Here's why it's so essential. Airflow lets you define your entire data pipeline as code using something called directed acyclic graphs or DAGs. It handles all the messy stuff like dependencies, retries, scheduling, and it has this massive ecosystem of integrations. It's basically the glue that holds a modern data platform together. At number eight, we have Terraform, and this is the perfect follow-up, really. If Airflow is your pipelines as code, then Terraform is your infrastructure as code. So instead of manually clicking around in AWS or Google Cloud to set up your servers and databases, you define your entire platform in code that you can version control. And the benefits here are just huge. When you use code, you get rid of those little manual errors, you make it way easier to collaborate, and you can rebuild your entire setup in minutes if something goes wrong. For any data engineer or architect working in the cloud today, this isn't optional anymore. It's a core skill. All right, at number seven, we've got an old friend, SQL. But hold on, this is not your grandpa's SQL. Modern SQL has evolved into a total analytics powerhouse. I'm talking about things like complex window functions, common table expressions, even manipulating JSON data, all happening right inside the database. Seriously, mastering advanced SQL is more valuable now than it has ever been. Now for number six, we're shifting gears into real time with Apache Kafka. You know, waiting for a batch job to run overnight is often just too slow for modern business. When you need to know what's happening right now, Kafka is the engine that powers that real-time, event-driven data pipeline. I mean, think about it for a second. Financial transactions, data flooding in from IoT sensors, website click streams, all of these things demand immediate processing. Kafka is the technology that reliably handles that constant, massive flood of information which makes it absolutely critical for these kinds of applications. Kicking off our top five, we have Kubernetes. Now you might think of Kubernetes for web apps, but it has become completely essential for managing modern data platforms. And that's because our data applications aren't just single programs anymore. They're these complex distributed systems made up of tons of different services. Kubernetes is like the conductor of that entire orchestra. It manages everything from your data processing engines to your machine learning models, making sure they're running smoothly and can scale up whenever you need them to. It's the skill that really bridges that gap between writing the data code and actually running it reliably. Coming in at number four is a true game changer, Snowflake. This is a cloud data platform that completely reimagined how a data warehouse should work. And in doing so, it solved some of the biggest performance problems that plagued the older systems for years. And this right here, this is the magic. In the old world, compute and storage were tied together. If you needed more processing power, you had to buy more storage too. It was a huge bottleneck. Snowflake completely separated them. This means you can scale your compute power up or down in seconds without ever touching your storage. It gives you incredible performance and flexibility. All right, cracking our top three. At number three, we have DBT, the data build tool. It's built on a pretty revolutionary idea. What if we applied the discipline of software engineering to the world of analytics? The result has completely transformed how modern data teams write their SQL. 
With dbt, your SQL queries stop being these one-off scripts. Instead, they become modular, version-controlled, and fully tested data models. This brings a whole new level of reliability and collaboration to the analytics workflow, making it an absolutely essential skill for maintaining data quality. Our runner-up at number two is Python. And let's be honest, it's the undisputed lingua franca of data science. Its super-readable syntax and just incredible versatility have made it the go-to language for, well, everything, from cleaning data and running analysis to building machine learning models and creating automations. But Python's real superpower is its ecosystem. You've got libraries like Pandas for data manipulation, Scikit-learn for machine learning, TensorFlow for deep learning. It's a comprehensive toolkit that is just unmatched. Being proficient in Python and these core libraries is completely non-negotiable for any modern data professional. And here we are. The number one data technology to learn for 2025 is Apache Spark. When it comes to large-scale data challenges, Spark is still the undisputed king. It is the absolute cornerstone of modern big data processing, and it just excels at handling massive, massive data sets through distributed computing. And its versatility is just incredible. As this one unified engine, it can handle enormous batch jobs, real-time streaming, and machine learning, all within a single framework. Plus, with support for languages like Python and R, it's super accessible. This combination of raw power and flexibility is exactly why it's still at the top. Let's just pause on this for a second. By processing data in memory, Spark can be up to 100 times faster than the older frameworks. That's not just a small improvement. That's a quantum leap, a change that opens up entirely new possibilities in what you can do with big data. So we've counted down the top 10. But as we wrap this up, it's so important to remember this quote here. Technology is just a tool. Learning all these things is great, but it's not the end goal. The real key to success is your strategy. First, you've got to align your learning with your actual career goals. Second, and this is huge, focus on using these tools to solve real business problems. That's what creates value. And finally, just stay curious. This field is always, always changing. And that brings us to our final thought. Today's world is being completely defined by AI and the technologies we just talked about. But what comes next? What's the technology that's going to define the next decade? The people who will be most successful are the ones who are already trying to figure that out. Thanks for joining me.